I wanted to preface this question with um, just saying again, as I spoke with you in private, it's an honor and a privilege to have you here with us. And thank you for speaking um, of what you know. And uh, I also wanted to say that I don't want this question to sound in any way hostile uh, to anyone because it does come from the bottom of my heart. And it's something that has been bothering me for a long time. If, if we are to move forward and connect all the pieces of the puzzle and move forward into the holographic social structure that you're talking about where the children know more than the adults on where all information is given to the young, um, <clears throat> then why is it that we still, even in disclosure movements and um, with courageous witness testimony coming forward, people speaking, that there are still certain topics that people are afraid to or will resist talking about, um, such as the Stargates that was mentioned earlier this morning, um, and other things. So is your question exactly why there are still some topics people don't want to discuss? Right. In, in people who are just courageously stepping forward um, and risking their lives uh, to speak out about what they know, why is it that they w do not speak about everything that they do know and there are still topics that they wish not to speak about? Well, that's a great question. And I'm also guilty of that. Um, it's a comfort zone. It's a comfort level. And everything has its own timing. Um, what would happen to humanity if the government were to come clean about everything that's, that they know about everything that they know? Could humanity totally deal with it? Probably a, a portion of humanity could deal with it. The other portion, or portions, or groups could not maybe deal with it, at least in the very beginning, because they have constructed a reality around themselves that is based on perception that is an illusion. And to shatter that all in one, swell, one swoop is, can, be no, can be a disservice to them. The idea is to take people and give them the tools that they need so that they voluntarily begin the process of self-responsibility and voluntary introspection. The information is there, and it's been out there for 50, 60 years. We'll take the UFO community as a whole, exopolitics. More and more people are coming into this. Who's the biggest group now? It's the young people, okay, which is promising. They are, in fact, influencing their parents by having discussions at home what do you think about this? What do you think about that? So it doesn't matter how it happens as long as it happens. Now, I mentioned Dulce in our conversation earlier. There will be people, I'm sure, who will contact these two to really want to talk about that. And they're going to have to be very careful about how they present the information because the things that happen there are horrific absolutely horrific and they had to be dealt with and they were dealt with however that element that was behind those atrocities still exists here okay and even I don't want to talk about that okay because it involved women and children and that's as far as I'll go but now that I've mentioned it I've created a domain of knowing Okay? I've just created a domain of knowing. Now each of you will start going out, thinking about that, doing some research to pull that information to you. Because now you want to know. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, last two questions. My question was actually about children and the disappearance of children, if you're willing to talk about it. <sighs> I've said so much about that already. Um, I know that I have been blasted about that, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely know what I know about the missing children. And uh, I'm not going to apologize for it, and I stand by 
what I've said all those years ago, and I stand by it today. Okay, could you summarize, because we're, we're aware of this as well, so if you could just, in maybe one sentence. We have become a natural resource. Uh, very much how we've used cows, we use cows and other animals. We ourselves have become a natural resource. The younger ones are the most desirable because they're not tainted with uh, chemical poisons in their bodies because they're young. That's all I'm going to say. Laura Knight Jedzik has gone into this in depth, and Rich Dolan has also written a review of her book that's very positive, and Rich has and Alfred Weber published an article about the subject. So if you want to investigate it further, because it's actually, I just want to augment what, what Alex is saying here in the sense that the point is not to, di to give you everything out on a platter, okay? It's for you to understand what's going on. The point is to give you direction. What Alex is doing here is mentoring you, okay? He's giving you indications, and that's what our whistleblowers do, by the way. We do, they don't tell you everything. They don't even tell us everything. But they give us the clues that we need to do the research necessary to find out the truth. And when you hit the truth, it gets you. You can tell. You know it. You want to be in denial, go right ahead. It's out there. The truth is out there. It is unbelievably out there. Hi, Alex. Hi. Uh, I'm the last question, obviously. Um, my name is Andres. Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, my actual question is actually directed to the audience and to you. I was wondering um, if you wouldn't mind uh, conducting a little mini meditation for all of us to direct our intention to change uh, the future uh, that we want to have. I uh, was well, wondering if you would like to do that. Thank you. Ooh, I'm on the spot. <laughs> well, this will be a first. I have an affinity for very simple common sense spirituality, which has always led me to the Native Americans. Um, so what I will do is I will uh, we'll close this with, with a Native American prayer. And that uh, just happens to be the same prayer that's on the front page here that I have with me, and it's it's usually always the prayer that I go to. Um, I change the words and make them my own after all these years, but for the purposes of this, it says exactly what I want to say. Great Spirit, whose voice I hear in the winds and whose breath gives life to all in the world, hear me. I am small and I am weak and I need your strength and your wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and let my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunsets that you have created with me. Make my hands respect the things that you have made and my ears sharp to hear your words and your voice. Let me learn the lessons that you have hidden under every rock and leaf. I seek strength not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me always ready to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes so that when my life fades as the fading sunset, my spirit can come to you without shame. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute honor for me. Thank you so much. <laughs>